Got Ryan here. He was just um, on the extended Walter Payton watch list on one of the um, updated finalists. So, Ryan, if you'll just talk about you know how your season's gone so far and being on that list on the finalists on that list. Um, well, well, it's definitely a, a we we're having a good season um, overall as a football team. Um, I think we're leading the country in a few categories, offensively and defensively. Um, but uh, individually, you know, I'm just trying to just stay focused, stay consistent, uh, keep preparing for each game, uh, and just executing the game plan that Coach put in front. Any questions for Ryan? Yeah, Ryan, is there is the guy, when you're playing East Illinois this week, their quarterback is, is – now one of the better ones in the league, just like the guy from Martin was at the time when you played there. I don't know a lot about the kid other than he's a, he's a senior. I think he's a 1A transfer. But when when you when you're playing a team that has another quality quarterback, what does that do for your game as far as elevating your mindset? And I know you're not playing one on one, but there's a showcase element there. Um, well, I know Jake. Uh, me and Jake was at the Elite Eleven camp together. Um, <laughs> Played an All-American game together. I was on the West team. He was on the East team. And um, I know he went to Iowa. You know, things happen. Uh, but he's a good quarterback. So, uh, you know, I definitely know that uh, offensively we're going to have to bring out a game because uh, he's definitely a weapon. And um, But we can't focus on on just, the, you know, what their offense is going to do. we got to focus on their defense. But we know that they're explosive on offense. Uh, I think he's passing 250 yards a game. So. Uh, we know that he's a good player. We're just going to have to uh, control him and contain him. And, and, and the way I, I, I can do that is just by putting the drives together and trying to keep him off the field. Does it do anything for you and your emotional ramp up to games when you know what the other guy is on the other? Like for, for example, I know he's your favorite guy, but if they had Tony Romo like they used to for years ago, obviously that people are going to look at that, you know, him and, and, and you just the, the two players. But does it do – does it ramp you up anymore when you're nah. playing against a guy that's got a good rep or a good? Number? No, sir. It, it definitely don't. Uh, you know that's that's where the focus part come in. Uh, have to focus more on uh, just just the tangibles and and getting ready for their defense and, and not trying to um, have a hype game and, and try to prove that I'm the better player. So that's just where I got to just focus and, and, and stay composed and poised throughout the whole game and, and don't make it a, a match just between me and the, the other guy. Project forward for me a little, you know, the first half of the year was obviously really strong for you and for, for the football team. You had the week off to reflect on things. What What's the impetus moving forward now? Um, well, just to keep getting better as a program and as a player. Uh, try not to have no setbacks. Um, you know, we, we watch college football this week. A lot of bad things can happen on any given Saturday. So. Just try to stay focused as a ball club and, and, and as a player, just, just keep working to uh, to be prepared and to execute the game plan that coach put in front of is, do you. Get, how much do you notice that or do you keep that in your mind? Like you said, and I hadn't realized that. You watched a lot of college football and saw bad things happen to people, knowing that that could be you and you guys in some circumstance. How much is are you aware of every week something might be? Well, every every week, every week, um, you know, <clears throat> what what I try to tell the team is, you know, to expect every game to be tough. You know, don't don't look at nobody as just an easy win. So that's 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 our whole mindset and our whole focus is just to expect every game to be tough, so we could bring out a game each week. Having a week off, do you worry that you lose a little bit of an edge having not played and try to keep going like that? Well, I, I definitely think that. Um, having a week off, it helps us mentally, physically. It just helps us overall. Uh, it don't take nothing away. Um, guys gonna be running faster. Their body's gonna be more. Their body's gonna be healed up a little bit better. Nicks and knacks, you know, gonna uh, be getting a little bit milder. And uh, mentally, you know, just the stress of football week in and week out. You know, just a, just a break to get home and see your family. And now I think guys fired up and ready to go. And uh, I just think that uh, that's gonna help our ball club. <laughs> What you do going back to the house? Um, just just went home, seen the family, um, visit with the pastor for a little while, and, and just been seeing family members, see my grandfather. I only have my well, that's my last grandparent, and uh, that's about it. You know, just being home with the family. Anything neat or profound happen while you were gone? 
Nah. You didn't get married or nothing, did you? Nah, just, just, uh, you know, just talk to a few old friends, you know, talk to Perry. Uh, he was lying back at LSU, uh, you know, he just, he just tell me they still, they still think they're going to be able to do it. And, um, you know, that's one of my good friends. We, we keep in touch. And, um, but other than that, you know, just, just same old, just Come being on. around the family. Yeah, eating food, good food. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> just being home, you know, just relaxing. After that crazy month of September, y'all on the road all the time, and then you <clears> had <throat> that big run of wins. Kind of what Paris was saying earlier about losing a step. My question is more so, what did you learn about yourself? I feel like y'all learned about yourself individually and as a team. Um, well, as, as a team, I, I, um, I think that we learned that we can be dominant if we stay focused. And, um, and if we prepare, uh, like I always say, the smartest team win. You know, the most talented team will always win. So, and, um, Individually, uh, I, I just think that, um, you know, just keep doing, you know, just keep playing within the system. Um, just just keep letting the players make plays for me and, um, and just keep trusting in my teammates. And, um, and then with the bye week, I just think that helps everything with everybody getting fresh legs back and nicks and neck injuries going away. And, they, they get opportunity to be excited about it all over again. It don't just it's not a routine. You know, we got a week off and now we're coming back into it and we just wanna try to finish strong. We won't be finishers. I think we went undefeated in November last year and you know I think that's 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 the that's the um, goal. Um to, to, to finish the season strong, be finishers. You're the only team that's unbeaten in the league now because Tennessee State got beat last week. So technically you're in first place in the league, even though you can't play for that. Is it <coughs> meaningful for you guys at all? Is it meaningful for you uh, to know that you're you are now the first place? You got the best record in the league of anybody. Well, well, we, we're 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 excited about that, and um, and that's that's what that's what we're we're trying to do. We're, we're just trying to um, just show everybody that it's not about championships and. And it's not about playoffs and all that stuff. It's just it's just about a group of guys coming together, giving it their all week in and week out, and and the ultimate goal is to win. <clears throat> so that's that's all we're trying to prove. We're just trying to just keep winning games and, and just keep being the team that we are. You know, uh, high character, um, hard working, and and, and, um, and play with a lot of a, a lot of intensity. Thank you. Yes. Ryan, can you get